morning everyone, Rocktimus Prime here, back with another Transformers video review. Now today we're going to be taking a look at, as you can clearly see, Transformers MP21 Masterpiece Bumble, also known as Bumblebee, oops, and Daniel, no, Spike, yeah, this is Spike, I think, it's either Spike or Daniel, I'm going to say it's Spike, because it makes more sense to have Spike hanging out with Bumblebee. Anyway, onto the packaging. You see a nice picture of Bumblebee here in his Volkswagen mode. It is licensed by Volkswagen. Here he is in his robot mode. And there is uh, Who's He Fart in his human mode. Coming around here to the side, and a nice action pose of Bumble. Around on this side, a nice vehicle, a Volkswagen Type 1. On the top, you do see the Transformers Masterpiece. MP21 Bumble, Cybertron and Espionage. And coming around to the back, you get a lot of stuff that I can't read with product shots. And hey, look, he scales nicely. He does this, he does that, and this is all stuff. When you open the packaging, you will get uh, his rear view mirror. Now, this does not come, <clears throat> excuse me, this does not come attached. You have to apply this little tiny black piece to the side here. And it is actually accurate, and uh, the Volkswagen Type 1 only came with one rear view mirror. Bumble actually does come with two, but one is merely a replacement for the other one in case you lose this one, or something happens, you have an extra. He also comes with a collector's card. Yay, I actually did tape this up because I took it out, looked at it, was like, oh, that's, that's, that's nice, put it back in its package. So, eh, it's a thing. You also do get your instructionalizations, which are actually bigger than the toy themselves. These instructions are huge. And, as you can see here in the exosuit, that's that doesn't look like Daniel to me. That looks more like an older Spike. But, <sighs> that's just my opinion. He also does come with another face, as you can see in there. It's more of a stern face. Um, he has he has two face options. He will come with the stern face on and a more of a smirking face, which I will show off when I get Bumblebee uh, transformed. But I prefer to have him have the smiley face, just because I think that's more that's more uh, Bumblebee. Now, getting onto the figure, we will go over Daniel first or Spike. Um, this is him in his vehicle mode. Eh. It's alright. Can't say that I was really waiting on this toy. I, I saw some reviews of it and I was like, yeah, I'm probably just going to stick him back in the box and just keep Bumblebee out for display. And that's really what I'm going to do. So, here you can see there is a clear canopy. And I have heard that you want to be careful with your canopy because sometimes they come uh, cracked when you get them out of the package. Fortunately, I didn't have one of those problems, but I believe Emgo did. So you're going to want to watch out for that. The detailing on this guy is actually really, really nice. And it is very uh, show accurate. This removes, so you can put his head down for his uh, robot mode, we'll call it. And uh, what you want to do with this is just rotate it sideways so he has a clear view. Now to get him into his robot mode, all you got to do is take these panels, flip them out, like that, come on, something like that there, take these tires, fold them in, take this entire section and flip it up, forming his chest, now you'll see that these are his hands, these, those are his little fists right there, so you just want to take this, rotate it like that, so do that same on this side, rotate it like that, bring it down. And that is as far as his arms can bend down, so he's always kind of stuck in this robot pose. <laughs> anyway, you want to come around here to these blue sections, bring them down. You want to take this tire, bring it back. Oh, excuse me, rotate it up first, and then bring it back, so it kind of makes like a, a heel. So you want to bring this back, take this tire, fold it out, bring it in, like that. And just fold these down flush. Then you want to take the legs and bring them down. You can split them if you want. And here he is in his robot mode-ish. And it is very nice. I really do enjoy this figure a lot. As much as I can 
with it being, you know, basically just a glorified accessory. Get in there. Thank you. He can't really do much, and the ball joints on this guy are incredibly loose. Um, I will at some point, if I can be bothered, need to fix him with some shoe polish or something. Um, he is very cartoon accurate. I do enjoy it. Um, and it's a nice little thing to have. But I can't say that I'm overwhelmed by him. He's just sort of just sort of a piece that you have if you want to have him. So setting him off to the side, we will get on to the main attraction, which is Bumblebee himself. Now, as you can see, Bumblebee is here in his Generation 1 incarnation as a Volkswagen Beetle. Now, one of the main theories going around, and <clears throat> excuse me, this is sort of uh, confirmed by other sources, is that Volkswagen didn't like having Bumblebee be a Volkswagen because they didn't like having the Beetle uh, portrayed as a giant fighting robot. Which, uh, Bumblebee didn't really fight all that much anyway. But he does have a nice Tampagraphed Autobot logo there. He does have the nice Volkswagen logo there and a lot of really nice detail on this guy. Just absolutely fantastic. You even get the little vents there on the side, little door handles painted in chrome, little Volkswagen on the on the uh, hubcaps, nice tail lights, spare tire, and I'll I'll talk about more about the spare tire in a second. The blinker lights and just everything is just really nicely picked out, and you can't really see a whole lot of robot kibble on the underside. You do see his gun hanging out there, and here's where I wanted to point out the spare tire. It does detach. As you can see, it just plugs in to the uh, license plate thing. And it does come with a license plate if you do want to have that. And this is honestly how I prefer to have Bumblebee. Just take off his thing real quick so I can get to this a little better. Oops, upside down. And it's really tiny, but there it is. And then this just plugs right back in. And honestly, I think that's why they have that removable. So that you can get to this a lot easier. If you don't want to have the spare tire attached to his back, you can just come here to this peg right there. And then just tab it right in. And that that really works. Because a lot of vehicles, they have their spare tire under their trunk. Which for Volkswagen would be up front. Or they'd have it inside, but you can't really have it inside. Because the trunk doesn't open. Anyway. And this is just how I kind of prefer to have my Volkswagen, my Bumblebee looking just a little more... I don't know, car asking without the big spare tire. Now, the only thing that I can really complain about is the fact that he doesn't really have a, um, a license plate. And this is something that happened on Prowl, too. No license plate. Which, eh, okay. I mean, Re Repro Labels will probably come out with a sticker for it, so I'm not that worried. Uh, getting some size comparisons out here for you. Here we have Prowl. As you can see, just how they stack up. See how pro how much bigger Prowl is than Little Bumble here. And of course we have MP10, Masterpiece, Year of the Horse Prime. As you can see, just massive, just how massive this guy really is when compared to Bumblebee. Like, Bumblebee can sit in his trailer section where it would clip on. So, getting that out of the way. Getting on down to the transformation. Shall we? Let's. Now, the transformation for this guy is actually pretty simple once you figure it out. But it is a lot of fun. I have had more fun transforming Bumblebee than I have Prowl or Prime or Grimlock. This guy's just such a fun little package. What you want to do is kind of come up here to the front and kind of wiggle everything out. Just bring it down like that. Now, you can take this. Bring it down. Hello, Dougie. Do you mind? I'm trying to do a review here, puppy. I know. Why don't you go lay down? Sorry, got interrupted by my dog there. You want to extend everything down and it'll clip into place like that. Now you want to take this section, fold it back in and up like that. And then as you can see, it will just slot. If I did it right. It'll just kind of fold into place. And there is enough room where it will not scratch the paint off of that section there, which I think is really kind of, really kind of nifty. And it goes off to the side. Now you can uh, separate the legs and bring them up. You kind of want to move them out, get them untabbed slightly, and then bring the legs up. 
Then you just want to take this back section, fold it in, and it wraps around like that. Then you take this tire, fold it in, and there you have Bumblebee's foot. You have a foot. Do the same on this side. Fold in the tire, rotate everything around. There is a little clip. There's a little peg. It'll just peg in like that. And there you have Bumblebee's bottom done. A bumble bottom, if you will. You want to come up here to these tires, bring them down. Then you can actually grab these taillight sections and fold them out. Push them kind of towards the back. This will untab them from this section. You can bring them down. You can bring them all the way down like that. Then for the hand, what you want to do is you just want to come in here, flip out the fist, and fold this however you want really to have it. You can just rotate it and bend his arm. Just like that. Second verse, rotate, fold out. And you can leave it like that if you want. It doesn't look bad. But for simplicity, you're supposed to fold it in so it's underneath his arm like that. Then you want to take this top section here. Because now, because right now he sort of looks like the, um, the GoBot version. What you want to do is you want to take this section, bring it up, rotate it around, and fold it down. So it's like that. But before you do that, you want to make sure that this back section is <clears throat> excuse me, folded in and brought down. Oh, and, well, like that. And there you have Bumblebee in his robot mode. Now, there is one thing I forgot to do. And if you push on this section, you will reveal his Autobot logo. Yay, Autobot logos. So there is that. Now, as you see, he does come with his blasters. Little blue blaster I think he used like once or twice in the show. You, that just slots right into his hand. Like that. And I really do like the fact that he can hold his blaster in a in a circle grip instead of having to open his fist. Um, it looks like there was at one point going to be a pin, but maybe the pin was too small. I don't know. But nevertheless, the hand does not open, which I'm perfectly okay with. Now again, this does store in robot mode back here on, in the uh, tail, in the um, license plate, thank you, the license plate holder if you want. I just tend to set it off the side, in fact, I'm going to put it back in the box when I'm done with this review. And there's Bumblebee. Now, as you can see, coming in here closely on the head sculpt, he is smiling. And to change his head, all you want to do, and I, I prefer this head, you just want to come in here to this little gap. Get your fingernail in there. You should be able to pop his face off. And that is incredibly terrifying right there. But yes, there is your base bumblebee. Bumblebee face. And I just want to be careful. I uh, just want to warn you guys that the face on Masterpiece Bumblebee does scratch very easily. So you just want to be careful. And he does come with a nice faux windshield here, which mine's slightly cracked. I don't, I don't understand that. But anyway... Masterpiece Bumblebee is a really, really small figure. For comparison, here we have... Oops, sorry, Bumble. Here we have him with Prowl. Just so you can see the scale. Just so you can see just the massive difference between Prowl and Bumblebee. And then things get even more ridiculous when you bring in MP10. And I don't even want to know how this guy scales with MP01. Yee. So Bumblebee is a wee fellow. He is a very, very wee fellow. I believe the Volkswagen, uh, the size for the Volkswagen was a 132nd scale. Don't quote me on that because I'm not sure. Getting on down to the articulation, his head excuse me, can rotate side to side. It can look up and down, but it's not on like a ball joint. It's on a swivel and then an up and down joint. His shoulders are ball jointed, so you get a nice range of movement out of them. They do go down and they do go up, so you could have his shoulders lower if you want, have his shoulders down here. It looks kind of weird to me, but you could do it. You know, why not? He does have a single jointed elbow. There's a lot of space in here, but that's mainly for when the hand flips away. So there is no hand articulation other than a slight bend if you really want it to do that. I don't believe... Oh, there is a waist joint. There's a waist swivel. Learn something new every day. The legs are 
they go out that far, and then they go back that far. They could go back farther, but they, excuse me, they bump into the back kibble, and you could end up scratching the paint, like, right there. His knees are double-jointed? Nah, single-jointed. So they only bend about that far, but you do get a nice jointage at the feet. You can bend it that far. It's got an ankle pivot, and it does go up and down slightly. So is Bumblebee a bang for your buck toy? Um, well, being a masterpiece and not being an American uh, reissue of Bumblebee, I say if you can get him on sale, I'd get him. But I wouldn't pay the expensive, you know, $100 for this guy. Because he's, I have a hard time justifying him. Even though he does come with a little spike here. I, just, I don't know. It, it's okay, but like I said, I don't really like Spike that much. And I really prefer Bumblebee just to be himself. And if we are getting... Ooh, what just happened? And if we are getting uh, repaints of this guy in... Uh, maybe a slight remold as Cliff Jumper, And then uh, maybe like an exclusive where he's Goldbug... I think that would be awesome. And I would buy the others of those just to have all the minibots and stuff like that. But here's Bumblebee. He is... He is a masterpiece. And he is a very nice looking toy. Now some people have complained that the yellow is too much of an orange. It does bug me slightly. But only slightly. But that is about it for me. Um, I'm going to go and edit this and get it up for you guys. As it is, this is my last video of 2014. Because it's New Year's Day and 2015 will be tomorrow. So, Anyway, hope you guys have a great day, great night, whenever you're watching this. Take care, guys.